Hello. So, um, really cool thing just happened yesterday. My Apple TV got a software update, which means that I can now send video from my iPhone to the Apple TV. So, I'll show you how it works from iTunes on your computer, watching something, send it to the Apple TV, and then show you how it works from the phone to the Apple TV. Okay? Awesome. So here's your laptop, right? You're running iTunes, you got a movie going. There's the TV. Well, the Apple TV's off. Got to turn that sucker on. Uh, interesting thing about the Apple TV, you can actually program whatever remote you want to. It'll actually learn and get trained by it. There's a little white light. Apple TV's turning on. We'll see it boot up. There we go. And uh, oh, watched The Walking Dead last night. And uh, basically, you know, the menus are fantastic. And there are the computers that are listed, and there's stuff internet. Notice, no TV shows listed. That's because I'm in Canada, and there's no TV show rentals yet in Canada. Anyway, so you're on your computer, on your laptop, and uh, let's say you want to start watching uh, Finding Nemo here, right? So you double-click on it. Interloper. You double-click on Finding Nemo, and you can actually start watching it right here on your laptop. All right? <coughs> and I'll just turn that down a bit. And so Finding Nemo is playing, and you can actually go to the controller. As you can see here, there's a little AirPlay icon. You click on it, and you can choose the living room Apple TV. And when you do that, pause it there, and it starts playing on your TV, which is fantastic. Interloper. And uh, that's pretty darn awesome, right? There's Finding Nemo on the TV. Fantastic, but you can actually still use this window to control it on your laptop. Next, you can pause it here. You can do whatever you'd like. And you can keep it playing where it's playing, no problem. Uh, and then you can go back to this little AirPlay icon and choose computer again. It switches right back, and they will play it, which is pretty fantastic. That's pretty awesome. So that's the computer. Now on the phone, you can do the same thing. I'm going to grab my iPhone, and I'm going to go to YouTube, and I'm going to go to a, uh, let's see here, uh, I'll go to one of my videos here, let's go to the video of Nicholas and I reviewing stuff from Comic-Con, so as you can see I also have my phone here, I'll just do one of these uh, shots, and you'll notice on the phone, um, on the controller, there is also an AirPlay icon. Hello. So we're here. Uh, it's Nicholas. You tap it, and I can send it to the AirPlay speakers in the kitchen, but I can also send it to the living room Apple TV. And you do that, it tells you where it's playing, and it starts playing it right there. And it works out really well. Unfortunately, there's a fan on in the background. Hopefully, that won't be. So you can go ahead and click here. I'm trying to use this, not looking at it. Tap it. Choose the iPhone again. And it's right back here. It works out really, really well. What an embarrassing pose that is. So, no longer on the television. Definitely back on the phone. You just tap it. Seems to have stalled slightly, but there we go. <clears throat> works very well. So, there we go. That is, in fact, the really cool now uh, AirPlay, video AirPlay onto the Apple TV from either your laptop or from an iPhone and iPad and iPod Touch as well, as long as you have that 4.2 operating system. So until next time, 